To help explain how natural selection works, books will often, often refer to the story of the peppered moth. Here you see how different they can look. The story begins where 80% of the population of peppered moths were white. This worked out really well because they spent most of their time on birch trees that had white barks and camouflaged them from predators. Only about 2% of the moths were born with an odd black color, and this was a bad characteristic to have. The black color made it easy for predators to spot them, and so the black moths had a very difficult time surviving in the environment. But then, in the early 1800s, England's Industrial Revolution changed everything for the moths. Manufacturing started to boom, and more and more factories developed. Factory smoke and pollutants discolored the white birch trees, and the environmental conditions started to change. The once white trees were now dark, and hid the black moths from the dangerous predators. Now the white moths were the unfortunate ones, and the black moths were the ones better suited for survival. Oops. All right. So you can see, you know, they're targeting those white moths. All right. So now the next part, you see me playing this game that is directly related to these moths, and I'm the bird, and I'm hunting down, you know, my prey, and I'm trying to search for moths to eat. You can see that. Um, it's far easier for me to find the white moths than it is to catch the black moths. All right, so you see me catching them, you can see me catching them. It's, it really is so much easier. And occasionally I'll get a black moth. And, you know, I think, I think looking at it right now, I, there's a point where I'm like just, I keep flying over the same black moth that's just sitting there. And I just don't notice it. So I'm chasing, chasing, you know, occasionally I'll get the black moth. Right now I'm just targeting on the black moth. There's a white one I catch right away. And so as a result, where we started at 50-50 white and black, right now it's 56% dark moths and 44% white moths only because I, I couldn't see the black moths. I couldn't catch them. All right, so the peppered moth, and again, this is in England, um, the black species rose from started out at 2% and it rose to almost 95% in some areas of England. And this is an example of natural selection. And it shows that the black moths um, were more fit, as they say. They were stronger, they had a characteristic that better fit their environment. And this is also an example, a rare example, of industrial melanism. An industrial melanism is the idea that an organism um, will change its color through evolution, through a process, just because of the change in industry and the environment in which it lives. And this all leads us to the concept of Darwin's four principles of evolution. Um, variation, inheritance, high population, and finally, differential survival and reproduction, also known as survival of the fittest. Um, one by one, first one, variance or, or variation, states that all members of a species have differences. So as people, unless you're an identical twin, we all look different from one another. Um, if you see a flock of pigeons, they may all look the same, but they all, all have their own subtle differences. You may not be able to see them. Maybe a pigeon has to be able to see it in another pigeon, but they're different, and the differences are there. Uh, the second one is inheritance, and that's simply that traits are passed from parents to offspring and goes from characteristics uh, are passed along from generation to generation. So you might have your father's hair or your mother's eye color or something like that. And because of that, in, in our example, the black moths in general produced offspring that were also black. Um, and then high population, and this states that organisms will reproduce in greater amounts than the environment can handle, and it creates a sort of overpopulation, and this will cause competition and a struggle for the organisms to survive against one another. And then finally, differential survival and reproduction, and this is simply that the individuals with the characteristics that are best suited for the environment, in our example it was the black moths because of their color, uh, will most likely uh, be able to survive and, reprodu and reproduce and make more offspring that will 
be able to survive. So there it is. Um, hope you got something out of it and it makes natural selection and the whole idea of evolution a little bit more understandable.